Hello everyone, this is Gavin Carpenter with Jonquil Landscape from wonderful sunny Atlanta, Georgia. I uh, thought today would be a good day to put a video together and share with you my 2016 landscape setup. Uh, it's a pretty similar setup that we have in the uh, previous years. Uh, the only difference is we are in the midst of changing and juggling with uh, some new Hustler mowers that we've acquired just recently. Uh, we are took on a 36 inch trim star and we're waiting on delivery of our new 54 inch uh, Fast Track SDX. Uh, should be here uh, in the next day or so. So I want to do a video on our, our setup. Uh, I have the dump trailer here. You'll see a couple glimpses of it. I'll do another video on that uh, and follow up with and give you the setup and what we did on that. But to start we have a uh, 7x16 uh, Pace America trailer. Uh, dual axle, 3,500 pound axles. Uh, dry weight of this trailer is about 1,800 pounds, so we can we can stack it and pull it with about uh, 5,200 on the safe side without overloading it. Uh, it's got electric brakes on. It's a good setup. Uh, you can see it has the full vinyl wrap on it on the on the on the sides, the back, as well as the other side. I can't get to it because I've got my chain link fence on that side. But the uh, it's a the company I dealt with it was a great company. Um, I'd suggest to other landscapers that if you have an enclosed trailer, take the time and the effort and the uh, the money to get a good quality job on this. Uh, it's a mobile billboard. I can tell you I've gotten plenty of work from somebody uh, parked behind me at a red light, and also just a neighbor down the street that when they uh, they see us finish up with work, they take our information down. And uh, they call us based on uh, the services that we offer and uh, give us a call. So it's an easy uh, mobile billboard. So make sure you take the time to do it. So I'll open this up. We'll get started. So uh, again, 7x16. Uh, I'll start uh, right here on the back. We have the string trimmer racks. I'm not sure if we can see this really well. I may have to switch. Um, String trimmer racks here. It, uh, I, I took the time to do it right, uh, and again, I'll say it many times: uh, you get what you pay for, and the time you put into it. Um, take the time, the money, the effort uh, to do a good job and do it right once, so you don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, don't deal with just the cheap, regular hooks and stuffs falling off, and it rolls off, and everything else. This uh, this E track, a couple more dollars. Uh, it was worth it. Uh, it was more the racks on it. Uh, I got these offline. I couldn't tell you the exact website, but on there, like it's uh, snaprack.com. It's a great little unit. Um, you put your stringer in, uh, string trimmer in, um, and it's all tension done uh, based on those tensioners in there. Um, so if you have any issues, you can tighten those up. But the uh, the string trimmers work out great. Uh, they don't fall out. Uh, every once in a while, you would jaw jacking around in the truck and You'll forget where you are and you'll make a curve, hit a big bounce, and every once in a while the fronts will just pop out. But nothing too major. Um, put them back in, you're on your way. Um, we've, uh, last couple of years, we switched, should I say we switched, we started with um, and always had good luck with the, the Echo Trimmers. Now, I run the, uh, the 225 series, which is more the residential. Uh, you could pick them up from your local Echo dealer. Um, you can get them at Home Depot as well. I'll be honest, these things are tanks. Uh, you're always going to have issues over time since the, uh, we're using them and some of the heat you get here in the, uh, in the south. I've torn into them so many times. Uh, they're very simple to work on. The carbs are real simple. The adjustments, um, you know, things go wrong. I always have, pretty much every year I'll buy another stick or two of equipment and rotate it through and I'll always use it for spare parts if I need to. But you could see I've got pretty much two of everything. Um, it's very important to always have two of everything to make sure if something breaks down, you're never done for the day. You're always just up and running and use what you got so you can get back and fix it. I'm a big proponent of fixing stuff myself. The Echo dealer is about 40 minutes away. Um, that's each way. So to save money, time, and effort, I, I fix as much as I can. So again, the uh, Echo SRMs 225s uh, and the PE 225, uh, they're pretty good. They're solid. We don't do a lot of foreclosure stuff. It's all well-maintained things. We go weekly, every 10 days, two weeks at the most. So 
um, the horsepower and everything that we would need. It, uh, these work out great. And like I said, they're, they're indestructible. Um, the uh, spool of line, uh, again, the way we set up our trailer is to be uber, uber efficient. And uh, the trimmer line's right here on the back. So when you're walking out with a trimmer to go to the commercial property or to set a town homes we take care of, it's right here. Don't forget, always, guys, always put spare line in your pocket. I'm sure everybody can attest to the line never runs out at a good time. You're always the furthest away from the truck, and then you got to come back and get more line. Just always have spare line sitting in your pocket. It works out great. But this spool, northern tool, uh, pretty easy. Hold one, three, five pound. Uh, I've always ran three pound just because it was easy to get my hands on, but this year I went online and got some five pound, which it actually should be here today. So we'll be running those. Uh, Again, fabricated just a little bit, little box back here. We like to put our headphones in here as we're working. Also, a little handsaw. The uh, uh, down here in the south, the clay. Uh, if we're working and we get a good, good rainstorm uh, the the day before or even during the night, the clay really likes to stick to the front of the edgers inside that housing. So. Uh, a lot of times when we go out edging, if we're doing a big property, we'll grab it, throw it in our back pocket, and just clean it out when it needs to be done because you'll definitely hear a different tone and change in the, uh, the cutting abilities. A um, little trash can out here again. Uh, over to this side, we've got the, again, the E-Tracks. Uh, shout out to Ambro Landscape. I, uh, I had sent this to him. He's uh, one of the proponents of getting this going. I've always tossed and turned whether I should be doing a a YouTube channel to help help everybody out in terms of their setups. I'll be honest, years you know I've been doing this for six years and I've taken plenty of ideas from from guys and that have taken the time for their landscape setups on not only YouTube but also lawn site. And, you know I thought it'd only be right to give back and help everybody out who's helped me and help the next guy down the line. But again, uh, E Track. So shout out to Ambro. So E Track. Uh, these hooks. E Track. Get it Northern Tool. These hooks. Same thing. You get it northern tool. They lock right in, no problem. They don't move. I've never had one come out. Uh, but the uh, Echo 770s, great blowers. Three of them always. Great power. They move some leaves. They'll do some damage. Again, time is money, and the faster you can do it, the more money you save. You can get more properties in in a day. So Echo 770s, they run great. Uh, we've got our extension ladder. Uh, ever got to get up into printing a little taller tree, anything like that, getting on a roof, do somebody's leaves, cleaning out gutters. Always handy to have that up. We have it set up, again, on the wall away from everything. Um, this is an interesting piece. Uh, so this was never made to be like this. Uh, these brackets, these black brackets, were actually bought at Northern Tool, and they sat on the wall on a 45 degree angle. And obviously you can only put in uh, six pieces, hand, pieces, shovels, rakes, that type of thing. And I ran it that way uh, the, the, when I first did it, and it worked, it was fine, it got it out of the way, but with us doing other landscape jobs and doing other things, I needed more, and I wasn't gonna spend the money to go get another bracket. I didn't like the way it was sitting, so I kinda tweaked it a little bit. The brackets were easily mounted on the wall and sat in there. So all I did was fabricate, uh, I had some two by fours laying around, made them four by fours, uh, put some pilot holes in, drilled them out, for the width of the handles of all the shovels and rakes and everything and it works out great they slide in there they're out of the way everything's organized we have two of everything so wherever need anything we got it round shovel square shovels trench and shovel leaf rakes pitchfork you know you name it so again just a little tweak to keep it out of the way but it, it works out great um, also have a billy goat blower uh, we got this locked in here in the front and again, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Um, I know it sucks, and they kind of jack you on the price, but this bracket underneath here, uh, it locks into the axle, the, well, the front axle underneath, uh, there's a cross member that holds this frame together, and that's what it locks into. So it never, never leaves, it never pops. It's locked in there, no problems. Um, kind of sticker shock when I did it for what it was, but I'll never go back, it was perfect. Um, Again, we've got this set up here in the trailer. We may have to tweak it a little bit with the new mowers we have and to get some more space back here. Probably going to have to push that up. The uh, Again, the cans. Again, spending the money. These things are pretty darn expensive. But they are the just right, uh, I believe they're the type, I believe they call them type 2 gas cans. 
um, and they come with the spout on it. Um, we run two five gallon and then a two gallon for our mix with the uh, the Opti mix fuel for all of our uh, two cycle equipment, all the echo blowers and everything like that. So again, it's great. They're metal. The problem I had is I had the the original plastic gas tanks, and I'm sure everybody goes through it it's with some of the the government sanctions and how they make them safer and it's just a pain in the nuts it really is that how some of those work and get the fuel out and a spout breaks and you gotta get a whole new can and you know you spend twenty some dollars on them so by the time you break two of them you might as well just bought one of these and these will last you an eternity so again we run two fives and a two for the purpose of we always keep fresh fuel we run all premium fuel and all our equipment uh, all ninety three octane um, I know the echo equipment uh, based from what I've dealt with, uh, with them, it's uh, 89 plus typically is what they want. We always run 93. We run 93 in everything. Uh, again, they opti fuel with that, so it works out great. Uh, trash can, spare buckets, uh, landscape flags uh, we have down there in another bucket. If we do air raid, you got to mark those sprinklers. We don't do any damage. Uh, Echo, Echo, I think it's a 410, don't quote me excuse me, 400, 18 inch chainsaw works great, uh, you know, just doing minor cleanups, big limbs that come down and some of the larger oaks around here. Toolbox, uh, this is something I spent the money on about probably $200, close to, I think I got it at Northern Tool, it's great, it's got everything, metric, regular size, wrenches, pliers, I mean, I don't know how many times, you know, I've had equipment break out in the field. Got one of my guys breaks equipment, something happens, we hit a stump, throws a blade, loosens a blade. You got to be able to work on your equipment. Um, toolbox on the trailer, ready to go. Um, I see some guys with enclosed trailers, I never see a toolbox. That was one of the big things with me. Um, in terms of a range from where, where our shop is and everything, it's not very far from all of our accounts. Um, typically, we don't go any further than about six to seven miles from our shop. So we're really dense where we're at. Um, it works out great, but it leaves keeps me on site at the job from coming back. And again, I have two of everything, so if I have an opportunity to, to fix it while we're there and we're back on the road. Um, I, bit, I built these shelves. These shelves were great. Oh, someone's giving me a call. It's probably my wife. The uh, my mulch guy, actually. He's going to spray my mulch in. Appreciate it. Matt Tibbetts. Shout out. Mulchscapes. Um... The shelves itself, pretty easy to build. Um, again, my last name's Carpenter, but you know I'm not the best with woodworking, but we can make it work. Uh, the shelving, again, just a little workbench here, all of our equipment, and then up top, we have a mark and paint, a little fertilizer for flowers, got our pickers for trash, and how loppers, string, you know, pulling landscape staples, that type of thing. Protection from the sun in the uh, summertime it gets pretty hot, so this is kind of the setup we like to run with uh, with what we got. So the mowers itself, and again, I'll probably do more videos on these just because I've looked at so many mowers with people. Um, just the Toro Time Master. We actually have two. Um, that's the one here. The other one sitting uh, sitting in the shop, covered up because I really don't need to put it in the trailer because we're not doing much mowing right now. Everything's pretty much dormant with the Bermuda. Uh, great 30-inch push mower, fantastic. That's our new 36 inch trim star. Uh, we just picked this up. I used it last week, two days, put probably about an hour and a half on it. Not much to do other than clean up some of the uh, some of the weeds and things that are growing up in people's yards that aren't putting down the pre-emergent. But uh, I'll do an, a full review on that down the road once I get some time on it. Um, and this here, this is our Hustler Sport. Uh, Hustler, Hustler makes a great product. Uh, I bought this Sport a couple years ago. Uh, things a tank. It's never really left me in the wind. Uh, breakdowns that are there, it's minor stuff. Typical maintenance. You know, a fork bends, the deck needs adjustment. Uh, the starter went out early, but it was warrantied and it was taken care of. But it's a it's a great unit. Like I said, we're getting another 54-inch mower, uh, the new Fast Track SDX, and that's got the new, uh, it's got the Kawasaki FX motor on it. So I'm looking forward to using that and some of the other features on it. Um, I couldn't justify an X1 or uh, a Super Z or a Hyperdrive. Those are just, just too expensive, considering I was buying the Trimstar this year as well. So, 
you know, the X1 and Super Z and those from ten, twelve, thirteen thousand dollars, and having a pony up for this trim star as well. You know, it's just budget constraints. But I think I'm going to be happy with the SDX. I saw it at the GIE Expo this year when I went up, and uh, I feel pretty good about the purchase. Uh, again, it's new. It came out last year. I'll do a review on that. So we'll see what happens. So that's kind of our landscape setup. Um, again, just wanted to try to give back and help you know, some of the other landscapers out there how we set this up. I've been doing this six years. I have a great time doing it. I love what I do. I get up every day, look forward to going to work. I enjoy it. We have a great crew of guys. You know, we have fun working. Like I said, everything's set up. I've taken the time, money, and efforts. Set it up efficiently. Set it up professionally. Uh, and simply just for the purpose of doing it right so take the time do it right uh, obviously if you could see the tagline in, in my business here quality is the root of our business it it is um, we've always taken that that to heart and doing a doing a quality job so if anybody has any questions leave some comments I'd love to talk with you more um, again I've seen so many videos and in, in the time that we've done this I've had this trailer now almost three years I went from an uh, open trailer to an enclosed trailer for the purpose of being a mobile billboard and protection from the weather and I know they cost more money but uh, it's worth it believe me so if you guys have any comments questions uh, you want me to answer believe me I'm, I'm here to help uh, everybody's helped me so I want to help everybody else so any questions leave some comments other than that till next time thanks YouTube see ya